Hi, I'm David with General Air. This is the Lincoln NR555. It is a self-shielded flux cord wire. Now, it's special in that it meets the AWS D1.8 seismic supplement for impact properties and strength. Now, it's similar to the E71T8 wire, which I've already done a video that I'll link to in the description below. But it has a lot more nickel in it. And as we'll find out in this video, nickel makes things run a little bit funny. We're using 1 16th diameter Lincoln NR555, and their spec sheets calls out for 110 inches per minute and 19 volts. We're also running this wire in DC electrode negative, and we'll try to maintain a 7 8 inch contact tip to work distance. Let's see how it welds. There it is, there's our stringer bead with the NR555. I had a slight downward angle on my electrode and I just went from point A to point B. But since this wire has so much more nickel in it, it left a very convex bead. It's a pretty small bead in general. And I would like to see it flatten out a little bit. I called the Lincoln engineers and they said that this wire was okay to give a slight back and forth weave width to try to flatten it out. So let's try it with a little bit of a weave technique and see how it is. All right, there it is, the second pass, and that one went so much better than the first one. I did do a small weave left and right of the root, but I only went out an electrode diameter. This is what Lincoln said to do, and well, hey, sure enough, they were right. So if your job requirements are saying that you need an E81T8 self-shielded wire, Lincoln NR555 is a fantastic choice. Thank you for watching our videos. If you enjoyed them, please like and follow us on Facebook. Also, if you're in the Denver metro area, we offer hobbyist welding classes on Saturday mornings. And if you're looking for a more in-depth education, we have a General Air Welding Academy. All of those are linked in the description below.